So the March 2024 spam update is over and the court update is still rolling out. But today what I'm going to show you is some of the biggest winners and losers and case studies from this particular update, including which sites took a big hit, which sites took a massive win, why that might be, plus some of the best ways to diversify your traffic, build stronger EAT signals, and and whether the game is all about authority and backlinks or not. So let's get straight into it. And I'm also going to give you some free SPs and systems that you can use to get more traffic, even if you've taken a hit during this update. Let's go. So today, what we're going to look at is who have been the biggest winners and losers from the March spam and March core update. Now, if we zoom in a little bit right there, you can see that the March spam update is actually finished right now, but the core update is still rolling out. So it's an interesting time to take a look at, okay, who's performed well and who's performed badly after the spam update, which is what I'm going to show you today, plus some conclusions we can draw from it so far. If we actually look at the volatility of the SERP so far, you can see that over the last 30 days, it's been pretty turbulent with the volatility sensor still being in the high range right here. So you can see 6.7 out of 10. I'm also going to show you some free SAPs and systems that I built that you can get access to later in this video to help you diversify your traffic, which is going to help you with EAT, but it's also going to help you get more traffic to your website, even if you've been hit by the core update. So I'm excited to show you that too. Now, if you didn't see the guidelines right here that was announced on March 5th, basically Google were targeting three things, right? So number one was scaled content abuse. Number two was site reputation abuse. And number three was expired domain abuse. So we'll start with some of the sites that have taken the biggest hits. And this is pretty interesting. So LinkedIn Pulse, a lot of people are using this for Parasite SEO. As you can see, their traffic since the spam and core update was announced, which was March the 5th, you can see that they've reached a high of 45 million traffic, but that has now dropped all the way down to 26 million traffic, right? Now, of course, these are just estimates. As you can see, from 45 million to 26 million, that is a decrease of 42%, which is absolutely insane. So that's a change in millions of traffic, pretty crazy right there, and some huge drops. I actually tweeted about this yesterday. So I saw this tweet from Taleb Kabara, who said that in the past seven days alone, LinkedIn Pulse articles lost 16.8 million in organic traffic, that's 460,000 articles with de-index, 213,000 articles dropped in traffic, and 1.34 million articles had keywords declining in rankings. Pretty insane to see that. And you see the chart right there. Now, I don't know where the data was taken from. I can't see it in the tweet. But that is very interesting indeed. We also saw sites like freshislive.com who were previously getting millions of traffic per month. They were previously getting 6.4 million traffic. Obviously an estimate again. All the figures that I'm giving on Ahrefs are estimates, but it's useful for seeing the trends. And uh, you can see that is taking a sharp drop. And actually the website has been de-indexed from Google completely. Some people were saying that it actually got put back in the index, but not from what I've seen. I also saw this tweet from Ian Nuttall that looked at sites which were de-indexed. Now, from what I can see, some people are saying that Fresh's Live is back in the index. But from what I can see, they are not indexed again. When I check it myself manually, but if we run through some of the other sites on the list, for example, like oldtimemusic.com, you can see the traffic again has gone from 185,000 last month down to 62,000 that's declining. And you can see they've been de-indexed as well. Pretty interesting niche right here. So you can see that oldtimemusic.com was going after like really low competition lyric related content. So like lyric meanings, as you can see down here. Now let's look at some of the winners, right? So we've got reddit.com. They were previously at 366 million over here and the traffic's increased to 408. So that shows no sign of stopping right now. Forbes.com, previously at 57 million, now at 63 million traffic. So they've gained as well during the update. It looks like quite a flat chart, but bear in mind, that has gone from roughly, as an estimate, 57 million to 63 million after the update. So that's an increase of five million. Now, if you haven't already seen it, Systrix.com have got some really good data about the latest core update in 2024, as you can see right here. So if we look at the latest update so far from the 15th of March right here, 
we can see the increases by percentage, right? So we can see inews.co.uk, food.com, Spine Health, etc. These brands are doing really well since the Google Core update. Now, if you actually look at the list, you'll see that these are massive, massive brands, right? It's food.com, Puma, Argos, WebMD, etc. Huge brands with a lot of authority right there. And another site that's performing extremely well is dogster.com. So if you look at their traffic, previous to the update, 23rd of February, 163,000 organic traffic. Now they've increased 515,000 organic traffic. Website, the pet's niche, a lot of authority, a lot of backlinks pointing to their site. Obviously, they must have a lot of EAT on the site as well because it's created by vets. And additionally, they are an e-commerce store, right? So they're a shop online. So if you look at their site, for example, they've got an e-commerce store right here where you can buy products. And I think that's a good sign of being a real brand. And additionally, you can see they have legitimate vets on their websites, actual doctors, real people who have created the content. So very early days, obviously, we've got the rest of the core update to go out. But as you can see, HiDR website, e-commerce on the site, and actual experts writing the content are all three things that might be helping this site. Now, if your site has taken a hit during the update, what I've actually done is inside my free SEO course, which you can get links in the comments and description, I've included a traffic diversification section right here. And it talks about how to get traffic from Facebook groups, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and also eight other ways to get more traffic to your website. So if you have taken a hit, if you're looking at alternative ways to get traffic, these videos should help you a lot. Links in the comments and description. And let's look at some more winners from the update. So this is an interesting site, low DR, as you can see right here. It's a DR4, which means that it doesn't have that many backlinks pointing into it. And I know that a lot of people are worried about, okay, you need a big brand or you need a lot of authority to compete, et cetera. But this is a really good sign of a website. She doesn't have that much authority or backlinks pointing to it, right? So only 147 referring names right here. And you can see their traffic was previously at 441,000. It's almost doubled after the updates so you can see right here. If you check out the website, you can see that actually a lot of the content is still monetized with ads. I know a lot of people will say it's ads websites that have taken a hit. But as you can see, this website has display ads at the top, the side, the bottom, etc., and it's still performing pretty well. If you actually scroll through their backlink profile right here, we'll filter to do follow one link per domain and look at some of the latest links they have built to their site. We'll ignore some of the spammy stuff and also generate ones. But you can see right here, what they're actually doing is getting backlinks using link inserts, right? So they're getting backlinks within content naturally, as you can see right here. So relevant site related to their niche right here, relevant anchor text pointing to their page. It's actually exact match anchor text, as you can see right here. So mid table fade is the anchor text that the link is coming from. And you can see that's pointing directly to their page about mid taper fades. Now, what you can actually see from their site is even though it's a low DR site, it's actually got quite a lot of EAT because it's got multiple social media platforms all creating content and building an audience across these different channels, right? So for example, you can see their Twitter profile right here, posting regularly right there. The Facebook page, quite a big audience on Instagram right there. And additionally on YouTube too. So they haven't posted content for over a year, but they're doing all the right things in terms of digital marketing. This is another DR12 website right here, cakesbymk.com. You can see the traffic has gone from 122,000 up to 234,000 right here. Ranking for a lot of keywords. We take a look at some of the keywords they're ranking for. So all cake related content. There's some pretty difficult keywords to rank for, right? KD35, KD26, KD23. For a low DR site, they're doing pretty well right there. Now, again, this is a website that's doing really well by just posting across multiple social media. Even though this site doesn't have many backlinks pointing into it, it does have a strong brand, right? So for example, if you look at their Instagram profile right here, they've got a lot of followers, quite a strong EAT profile, and additionally, their YouTube channel too. So they're 218 videos, 446,000 subscribers. I honestly think that if you're doing SEO, YouTube is one of the best compliments to that strategy, just because the content itself on YouTube converts very well. It gets traffic way quicker than normal SEO. And it builds strong off-page signals of EOT to your actual website. 
So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free SEO course, you can get that links in the comments and description. And it includes ways to diversify your traffic and also build strong EAT profiles across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc. based on what's working for me. And if you do want to book in a free SEO strategy session where you'll learn how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales, feel free to book that in. You get an SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions you have and you'll discover the best ways to outrank your competitors. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.